Welcome back in Tech Devs Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up SDK and JDK for Unreal Engine 5.7 preview. So this engine has been released just a few days ago. So right now, what you have to do first, you will be find lots of changes inside of this. Like the packaging system has been changed. Everything like there's a no packaging system available. Lots of the thing has been changed, and the configuration as well. So first, you have to download our app, which is this one. They learn Unreal Engine Game Day 5. There's a hundred case of downloaders, you can just check out this thing. Go to your Android and you find this app. Search this name and you find this thing. Once you find this thing, just go to project files downloader section and you find the updated this video, the thumbnail and ATC and the nine name as well, which is 5.6.1 or 5.7. Okay, so I always update this thing. So just check out, you find the updated down. Just click on this thing, you will be see a ads. Once you turn, you will be find your the drive file. Once you find this thing, after that downloading, it will be pretty much look something like this SDK 5.6 and for this project, it will be like 5, SDK 5.6 and 7 as well. It will, will also work so you don't have to worry about anything. Once you're done, you find something like this. When you, once you find this thing, just extract this thing. There's a no password in this video. So just extract this thing and once you extract, you find like here JDK, NDK and SDK. Okay, once you do this thing, always try to keep in your PC because this thing is important. Then after that, you have to go to your project settings like here and go to the simply scroll down to the bottom of the platforms. Go to the Android SDK. From here, choose your directory like the SDK, NDK and JDK. I'll show you example. Suppose if it's like here, like in your IDX, then Unreal Engine, then the SDKs. Like here, the NDK, choose the root folder. Do not go inside of it. Just choose the root folder like this thing and select the folder and like that. Once you're done, you can go to Android and click here the accepted SDK license if it doesn't accept it yet. And that's all. You're just ready to rock and roll. Now, let me show you the exporting system. So the new Unreal Engine 5.7 has been changed the fully the system. Like there's a no more platform system at here. So what you have to do, you have to press here that platforms and at here, Choose the SDK manager and here give the ref uh, refresh platform status. Okay. Then choose the Android and here you find the install SDKs or find the updated SDK. Okay. If you're doing first time, you will be see that install SDK. Press on that and click on updated SDK. Once you've done this thing, we can find here that your Android icon is coming like this thing. In my case, it's coming. If you're doing it first time, you'll be see that it's only in a gray color. After that, once you it's accepted, you'll be see in a green color once you've done this uh, stuff you can go to the cook content in the cook content choose the android and choose the astc make sure and go to projects uh, uh the project packaging project as well at here choose the android astc and the development okay once you've done everything at here you have to press here that project launcher now here you have to create a launcher because by default there is no launcher available uh, in by default, you'll be see something like that. So you have to click on create. Okay. And once you're done at here, and once you're done at here in this position, what you have to do is just you have to give a name. Like, let me show you. Suppose, like, if you're creating here, you can give the name. So in my case, let me give it an Android build tape. You can give it a mobile test. And once you're done, at here, there's an edit icon available, just press on that. At here, by default, it will be automatically pick the project name that you have. So make sure you choose the current project. The target is project default always. The platform, now you have to choose your ASTC, DXTC, ETC or whatever you like. In my case, it's ASTC, so I'm going to choose ASTC. In the configuration, you can choose the debug, development and shipping. In our case, we are only going to be testing our Android without any key or anything. So development. In the content scenes, you want, uh, scheme, what you have to do at here, by default in a Zoom streaming, change it to, to a pack file or try to use that development package, which will give you a better result. After that, at here, you find that the increment code, you don't have to do anything with the unless you think that you have to do something like maybe with cooking with the pack or the pack file etc so you can choose the modify and dependency recommended and at here the maps and cook so click on selected map and at here choose the map that you have the map folder you already created 
okay because we have a map at here okay then scroll down at here you don't have to do anything with this build game or etc keep it default now here you can choose the archive location so just press this thing archive and here press this three dot now you have to pick a location that you like to export in my case i'm going to export in my music folder so just choose this thing if i something like this thing if you like to deploy it automatically after that install so you, if you already connected your device like your android tv or pc you can basically choose that here like deploy run so and choose your device it will going to be deployed in our case we don't need after that this thing run and after the you find also also here a option called initialize app just choose this thing and choose the by default map if this is so important otherwise it's going to be crash your project okay once you're done here press the launch now you'll be see something like that like it's basically exporting the new android exporting system has been enabled it will take like 10 to 15 minutes depend night pace it's take around five two to three minutes not even max like a 15 second max uh because my project is my pc is so high config also make sure you always connected your device with internet otherwise you will be face lots of problem like the package will be failed and etc so make sure that you always connected your device with internet like a ethernet cable or wi-fi when you were exporting your game because it's going to be download lots of file and always try to give it like a 30 to 40 minutes time to give a package because it's going to be compiled lots of lots of file so keep it remember just give it some time to do it everything okay and how like here you can see we have done it here in this point and you can see like it's almost done at here everything the building success now you can paste it done at here and once you've done it here now you can go to the directory and from here you can see the apk ax is where you find all everything now from here you can export the game so that's all in the video see you next video bye bye